Hey, what is up? This is Jacob Radcliffe again, your Extendly coach for tips and tricks. And today I want to talk about trigger links, my favorite use cases for them, how I use them, and how I can help you take advantage of it. So let's get straight into it. Here we are on the trigger links screen, which if you're not familiar, is under conversations, trigger links, and here we are. You have the ability to add any hyperlink to this. So we'll just add one. We'll just call this Google. Here we are google.com just to make a quick one just to show you what it looks like so when you first make a trigger link it just looks like that there's just not much to it it's just a link uh, but in the system this link is used all sorts of different places things like in emails uh, or in SMS messages you can also use it in the funnels you can use it all sorts of different places but what's really powerful about trigger links is not necessarily that you can track the the people that are clicking it which is an awesome use case of it but it allows you to resolve the internal system things inside high level things like the contacts name the contacts email we need some of these things especially when we're working with a contact form so say for example a contact is filling out a form uh, in an email and we want to just draw in their name and all sorts of different uh, things about them. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go here to our forms builder and I'm going to just pick uh, a brand new form just so we can see this live. Here we are, full name and email and let's just add a button on there just so we can see it. Perfect. And okay, let's move me out of the way. Integrate form and open the form link. And so normally with things like URL parameters, uh, we can add a little question mark on here and we can say email equals uh, 123 at gmail.com. And of course it will fill in this block for us. But with trigger links, what we can do is I'm gonna just copy this whole link like this with a trigger link. Let me get back to my screen. Here we are, I'm gonna add a new link. We're gonna call this uh, a form fill. When we paste this in, we're gonna be using our forms integration link. So if I did that a little too quick, when you make your form, it will ask you to integrate the form. Um, and then you'll get this nice little link right here. Um, so the question mark is the start of the parameter. And so we have our first parameter here, which is email equals. Now we use this as our template but we can use our merge fields in high level like this. And when we build it like this and we hit save, now if I'm going to ask a uh, client to fill something in from an email, then it will go ahead and it will fill in their email address for them. So if we have all these other additional questions that we want to ask them, then it will go ahead and it'll fill that in for them. Now there is another important thing I do want to put on here and that is the contact ID. So you will hear this referred to pretty frequently. And we'll just add this one in here, contact.id. And then you just separate them by the ampersand symbol. Um, so this is an example of URL parameters with our trigger links here. So we have our contact ID equals contact ID and email equals to this. And now what this will do is it will make sure that we're updating that specific contact record and it's gonna fill in the email address. So we're not gonna get duplicate contacts. It's such a great benefit. And our customers are not gonna get annoyed by filling in information that we should know about them. Um, so super great use case of using trigger links, especially within emails and using it to fill in forms automatically for our customers. So that is my tips and tricks today about how I frequently use trigger links to help me when I am sending out emails to my customers. And I certainly hope you've gotten a lot of value out of this video. Make sure to drop me a comment if you want to see other videos like this or specific topics covered. And as always, with Extendly, we are hyper-focused on helping you on your high-level journey. Thanks, and we will see you in the next one. Want to learn Go High Level in a structured format? Check out the GHLacademy.com by Extendly. We guarantee to save you six months of wasted subscription costs for high-level. Just visit the GHLacademy.com.